Good morning. Jay Nicholas, Chris Daughters, Caddis Fly Shop. Nobody's here yet. I'm going to show you how to, it's backwards, how to use a Jade River, River Turbo Dubbing Block to make dubbing brushes like we've shown you before. Start with a piece of copper wire. This is the brassy size. I want my, 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 my wire to be about a little bit more than twice the length of this block. These, these are fun brushes to make. Very useful. Start out. I'm going to wrap this a couple times around that spring. There's a little nail here. Bring it down, put it around the hook on the inside of that nail, and then I'm going to go around a couple of times, and I have a long piece of wire sitting out there. Now here's, here's the part that takes some practice. If you put on too much dubbing, it, it's not going to work. If you wise, it's going to be too thick. It's going to be all balled up and bulky. If you put it on thin, you're going to see more wire than you want to see. So I'm going to I'm going to do a standard, uh, a very 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 useful color combination is chartreuse for the butt and black for the body. This is iced up. This is STS with a little bit of extra added to it. Uh, I'm going to tie these this dubbing brush in the style where I have two fuzzy portions separated by a thin portion. There's a little bit of blue ice dub mixed in with this black too. So I've got my dubbing laid out there. I'm going to unwind. Get ready. This is going to be pretty cool. <coughs> Excuse me. I bring this wire back over. So it's just wrapped around the nail right now? Uh, it, it's wrapped around this little okay, just the hook. This hook, yeah. Okay. And this is going to spin. Then I loosen this portion of the wire, and I hold these together, and I lift them up just a little bit, and then I start to spin. And if you notice, the ice dub has already spun up and obscured the wire. The STS uh, is is. It's a bit tougher, uh, and I'm going to have to spin this some more. And I'm allowing this to twist in my fingers just a little bit. What if you don't? If you, if you... Just it winds the, up too the, quick. The, 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 it, it's, a, it's a balancing act. If you spin the wire too tight, it's going to break right here. Mm -hmm. This is where it's going to break. So you let it spin a little bit. So if you're going to use a do a standard body, you you you're finished right now. This is the butt. This is the body section. For use for use on the squid row, I like to take my my dubbing brush and I like to brush up so I have longer fibers right in the middle there and here this gives me more bulk so you wouldn't use more material at those points you're just brushing it out I'm just brushing it out okay. that's right now you can use I, I, I like the brassy size of wire it's pretty tough if you use a finer gauge wire um, if you use thread uh, you, you you probably need to put your dubbing on a little bit more sparsely than this, but here we are. I mean, I know you're doing this for steelhead flies, but this is just awesome for trout nymphs. Oh, I mean, and you could go with bigger wire or smaller wire and killer. different sizes. I mean, looks killer. Great. Uh, you can you can use very very long fibers, uh, shorter fibers. Uh, the the options are virtually limitless. You just have to practice with them.